Okay, so I've been looking everywhere on YouTube to be able to uh, play multiplayer mods on Beat Saber, and um, I haven't been able to find any videos on it, so I thought I'd make one myself. So, I'm going to leave these two links in the description, that's pretty much all you need um, for the sake of the tutorial. I'm going to be doing a clean install. So let's go ahead and uninstall this. I'm going to go to my Beat Saber folder. Make sure you keep track of your Beat Saber folder. You're going to be need to, needing to access it pretty often. Mine is in a second hard drive, so yours might be in a different location. If you don't know how to find it, just go ahead and Google it. I'm sure you can find something from there. Okay, so now my Beat Saber folder is cleared out. Uh, you're going to want to leave that actual, the folder itself there. Just clear it out from the inside. Okay, cool. So, first thing you're going to want to do, install Beat Saber. Okay, let's wait for that to download. While you're waiting for that to download, go ahead and download everything that I have in the description. So, first link you're going to want to open up is Mod Assistant. Now, this is where you're going to install most of your mods and libraries and like dependencies and all that. So, go ahead and just click the big ass download here button. Modassistant.exe right here. And you do not need to be logged in or anything for this. You're good. Uh, don't ask again. Keep. Show more. Keep anyway. Now, you're not going to have to go through this if you're using Chrome. I'm only not using Chrome because um, I have some personal stuff on there you guys can't see. So once it downloads, it'll be in your download folder, obviously. Uh, second link you're going to want to download is the multiplayer extension. Now, this is key to making this work. Uh, let's go ahead and leave that there. Now that should all be in your downloads folder. You should have these two. Okay, Beat Saber should have installed by now. So go ahead and start it up once. Okay, now that you've started it up once, go ahead and... Remember, you only need to do, to do all this if you're doing a clean install. So if you already have Mod Assistant downloaded, um, just wait a bit, we'll get to that part. So you have that. Now you're going to want to open Mod Assistant. Now, when you are here, make sure that this is 1.13.4, this one right here. So first thing, most important, check that off. In libraries, check off Serial whatever it's called. Now go down to multiplayer, click this, click that, click install right here. Okay, you are all done with Mod Assistant now. Close Mod Assistant, start Beat Saber once. Now this is just to get all your Mod Assistant files in the um, directory and stuff. Okay, you don't need to do anything from here, just close it. Now let me make sure that it actually worked. I'm going to go check my Beat Saber directory again. Steam Apps, Common. Beat Saber. Now I should see custom levels and stuff. Oh, interesting. Okay, well that's why we started multiple times. And if it's still not working, then we'll figure it out from there. Now let's see if Songcore even loaded. Okay, it looks like Songcore is working. I'm not sure why In the custom levels folder wasn't showing. Oh, there you go. Okay, so now you don't need to do this part. You probably have your own songs, but for the sake of the tutorial and showing that this works, I'm going to go ahead and install my custom levels. Okay, all done. Now, that second file that you downloaded, the multiplayer extensions one, now you're going to want to drag that directly into your Beat Saber folder. That should be this right here. Now all you gotta do is right click, extract here. Now the goal of this is to get this little file in here. See, this wasn't here before. All this zip file has is that little file. Okay, and once that is in there, go ahead and close everything out. Uh -oh. I'll start Beat Saber. Now it should have worked. Now I have my songs loaded and online. 
go to server browser, that's one quick way to do it. Okay, we know that multiplayer is working, but let's make sure. Okay, select the level. I don't have my headset on, so this is a little complicated. Oh, there you go. And there we go. So as you can see, we are in multiplayer and you do have the option to select your custom levels. Okay. So if this worked for you guys, go ahead and, and So if this worked for you guys, I would really appreciate a like and a subscribe. And if you want to check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Customs, it should be right here in the bottom right. I Twitch. Uh, now if this worked for you guys, I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe. Let me know if it worked for you guys down below in the comments. I do stream almost every day on twitch.tv slash Customs if you guys want to check it out. All right, see you guys in the next one. Later.